Hello everyone, welcome to Developers Checkpoint. In today's video, we are going to learn about the consumer groups. So what are we going to do today? So firstly, we will deploy our Kafka on the Docker container. And after that, we are going to have a publisher subscriber. After that, we are going to increase the number of consumers and we figure out how to scale Kafka and add multiple consumers on top of that. We will also cover a very common mistake of not adjusting the partition as per the number of consumers. So we are going to understand all the concepts that we need to understand in order to scale Kafka. Okay, so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So we discussed about Kafka in the previous video. Kafka is a distributed commit log. It has a publisher and on the other side it has a subscriber. Publisher pushes message inside the Kafka and subscriber used to consume those messages after subscribing to a topic. This Kafka contains topic. All the messages that we send to Kafka are stored inside topics and these topics are further subdivided into partitions. So we are having Kafka cluster that is having a topic and the topic is further subdivided into partitions. Now what happens if we add a consumer here? The consumer can subscribe to a multiple partitions. Okay, so if we are having two partitions here and only one consumer, the consumer will subscribe to both the partitions. But the thing to notice here is this, that a partition can only be subscribed by one consumer. So a partition can only be consumed by only one consumer. So let's discuss a scenario where we are having a Kafka topic and we are having only a single partition. So if we add a consumer here, this consumer will subscribe to the particular partition. This consumer will be able to receive all the messages from the particular partition. As a partition can only be subscribed by a single consumer, if we are having other consumers as well, if we want to achieve a bit of parallelism, these consumers will be useless because they cannot subscribe to the topic that the other consumer is already subscribed for. This consumer is not entirely useless. This consumer can play an important role if in case the primary consumer has died and is unable to receive messages. In that case, this consumer can come up and start subscribing to the messages and polling for the messages. But here we cannot achieve parallelism because there is only one partition and only a one consumer will be able to read the data from one partition. So how can we solve this? We can divide our partition into smaller parts. So we are dividing our topic into smaller partitions. So earlier we were having a big partition, now we are having smaller partitions. And we can have multiple consumers. Those consumers will subscribe to those partitions. So we are having a one consumer for each partition. If we want to add three consumers, we can further divide our partition into three partitions and in this way we can have three consumers. So here what we are achieving, we are achieving parallelism because now we have three partitions and there will be three consumers to consume that data and we are also solving the problem of machine failure. So if any of the consumer died, the other consumer will be able to handle their low workload. It can subscribe to multiple partitions, consume the data. So in this way we have solved two problems. First problem of parallelism and the other problem of a machine failure. So all the consumers that consume to a particular topic, those are the part of a consumer group. So consumer group contains the list of consumer that subscribe to a particular topic. So we have discussed the basic concepts. So let's move to the terminal and let's see the things in action. Okay, so we are on our terminal again and we have seen that how to run a Kafka container using Docker Compose file. Okay, so I'm going to use the same Docker Compose file again. So docker-compose and we will wait while the Docker Compose is running and creating our containers. So it seems that Kafka and Zookeeper has started now. Let's move to the other terminal and run Docker PS. So this will give the list of containers that are running. So we have Kafka and Zookeeper running. So we will move inside the Kafka container. So I will use docker hyphen it the name of the container and sh and inside that container we will move to the folder where all the executables can be found here we have all of our executables so now let's create a kafka topic okay 
so we are going to create our kafka topic with replication factor 1 and partition as 1 the name of the topic is quick start so the important point to notice here is the number of partitions so how many consumers we can use depends a lot on the number of partitions okay so we have successfully created our topic quick start okay so let's have a producer of this so i am going to use kafka console producer the we are going to push the messages to quick start topic and we have provided the url of the bootstrap server okay so we are having our producer here now we will go to the next terminal run the docker ps again move inside the container and so here we are going to run our kafka console consumer for the topic named quick start okay so let's have our consumer here so let's try to push some message from the producer so we are sending the messages from the producer and we are consuming these messages at the consumer okay so let's have one more instance of a kafka consumer so i will do the everything again so docker ps moving inside the bin folder and running the kafka consumer here again okay so we are having two consumers this is left consumer is consumer one and right is two and let's try to push more messages okay so we are pushing a lot of more messages and we are getting all the messages on both of our consumers so why this is happening this is happening because if we are not providing any group name to our consumer the consumer is going to create its own consumer group their left consumer will create its own consumer group and right one will create its own consumer group and they will start processing all the data because for each consumer group the offset will start from the beginning okay so how to solve this problem we can solve this problem using the consumer groups okay so let's have a look at consumer groups as well i will exit from these consumers we can use kafka consumer group command providing the url of the bootstrap server and hyphen hyphen list to get the list of all the consumer groups available okay so here we can see that right now we are having two consumer groups so we were having two consumers at that moment so they created their own consumer groups okay let's say i want to create a consumer group so i will use something like this okay be using kafka console consumer the name of the topic is quick start providing the providing the url of the bootstrap servers and hyphen hyphen group with the name of the group that we want to add this consumer to okay so let me name it as a consumer group okay so on the other terminal i am going to have another consumer so let me move inside that container again okay and on this terminal i am going to run the same command okay so what i am doing here creating two consumers and adding those two consumer at the same group okay now if we go ahead and push some data this data is received by the consumer on the top now if we keep on pushing data let me put some numbers here okay so we have pushed about 12 numbers and let's have a look so we can see that all the numbers are consumed only by the only by the consumer on the top so why this is happening this is happening because we are having only one partition in our topic so this consumer got connected to that topic and now this consumer will be able to access all the data and this consumer the consumer at the bottom will not get any of the messages let's try to dig deeper into this so i am going inside my kafka container again if we go ahead and try to list the consumer groups we can see that we are having a consumer group named my group okay so let's try to describe this my group so i'm using kafka consumer group and i want to describe named my group okay so there was a syntax error this is my group so i want kafka to describe all the information it has about the my group okay so here we can see the name of the topic is quick start and the number of partitions is zero the value of offset and the committed offset and there is only one consumer so this consumer will probably be the consumer on the topmost side that was receiving all the messages and the consumer at the bottom is not receiving any of the messages because we are having only one partition and only one consumer will be able to consume the data from that partition so we are having partition number zero and that partition is assigned to consumer edit this what we have to do in order to make our consumer at the bottom also able to consume messages we can change the partitions okay so here what we are going to do we are going to alter the number of partitions so now we are going to make the number of partitions as two okay and let's have a look at the logs so 
assignment received for the leader of the group and group is having two members okay so it seems that we are we have created a group and two members are assigned to that group here we can see that we are having a topic named quick start and it is having two partition one partition is zero and the other one is one and there are two consumers each consumer assigned to a particular partition okay so if we go ahead and push the numbers again so i will start with zero again zero one two three four five six seven okay so let's have a look at our consumers so few of the numbers are received zero one two from here and three four five at the top and the data is distributed across between the consumers okay so what we have to do if we want to add one more consumer to the group we have to alter the partition again and instead of two we have can put the three party so let's try to conclude what we have discussed today so we discussed that a partition can be consumed only by one consumer so in order to attain more concurrency we divide our partition into more partitions and create a consumer group so a consumer inside a consumer group will be assigned a partition that consumer will process all the messages that are being pushed to that particular partition okay so having a topic dividing a topic into number of partitions having multiple consumers and adding those consumers into a consumer group so guys that is for the video please like and share the video if you like the content and subscribe to the channel